towards the sun like we shot from guns living in a fantasy cause with you by my side I gotta ride or die we'll be rebels you and me sailing towards the sun like we shot from guns living in a fantasy <laughs> Hello Cancer, this is Inspire 2016 with your monthly tarot reading for the month of November 2016. The first card for you is representing, your condition at present. Your card is, the sun. The situation is getting better. The problems have been resolved gradually in a positive way. You may feel confident and lively. Though you may be tired of something but you will have courage to make it through. For work, there will be a progress due to your effort. You have a chance to get promoted, and get support from others. For finance, you will have a financial luck. For love, you will have a chance to find new love which will make you feel very lively. If you are single, you will be charming and have someone coming into your life. For health, be careful of after salsa and drinking too less water. You may expect luck, wellness, positive consciousness, enthusiasm, attainment and success coming into your life. It is about embracing your destiny and giving it everything you have got. If you have been having a difficult time, the sun brings you the message you have been waiting for, that things are going to get better, a lot better. You know that the rain clouds will soon give way to the rays of the sun and you will feel warmed to the soul once again. The sun is also an energetic card. It reflects a time when you can expect to experience an increase in physical energy, vitality and general positivity. You are bursting with enthusiasm, feeling invigorated and enjoying a wonderful sense of good health. The sun reflects the value of simplicity. No elaborate scheming is required but instead, plain and simple is the best option. Experience the freedom and liberation associated with living the simple life and doing what you enjoy most. Get back to the simple pleasures such as spending time with loved ones, getting back to nature, or simply reading a book in your garden. Expect a boost in the right direction and trust that work can and will be done, with relative little effort. This is a time when you will feel enlightened. You can finally see the path ahead of you and through the hardship you have endured, you have attained a new level of insight and understanding. You may have even had a personal or intellectual breakthrough where you have finally unlocked the key to your fundamental being. The second card for you is representing, the immediate challenge or problem that you'll be facing. Your card is, the strength. You may have recently experienced a setback, or you are questioning your own journey and whether you are on the right track. Your inner strength and courage is lacking right now and you are feeling inadequate and vulnerable as a result. While these feelings may seem very real when you are in the moment, you will soon come to realize that they exist only to remind you that you are only temporarily out of touch with your inner strength. You need to remember that your core strength will always be with you and now is as good a time as any to reconnect with this core strength. 
look towards the positive aspects in your life to reinvigorate self-confidence and self-esteem. The strength card also suggests that you may be starting to doubt yourself and lose some self-esteem and self-confidence. Instead of taking the lead and manifesting your goals, you may be engaging in self-doubt and becoming dependent on others' feelings and actions that then dictate your own. The strength is also related to inner control. It suggests that you may be giving in to your instinctual reactions and lacking the self-discipline you need. Aggression may be an issue and, as such an anger management course may be a good path forward for you. You need to exercise more control over your raw emotions to ensure that you do not lash out at others and later regret your actions and words. In a relationship reading, the strength card may indicate that you doubt yourself and feel as if you are not good enough for the relationship. You may not feel completely secure in the relationship and often question whether your partner really has strong feelings for you. This may lead you to be someone other than your true self, someone who is worried, anxious or overly protective about the relationship. Overall, you will have a lot of stress and burdens during this time. Your project at work may face with obstacles and be suspended. Or there will be a woman involving and delay your work. You may get pressure from people in higher positions. You may feel troubled but if you do not give up easily, you will be able to pass through it. For finance, your financial status is not good so be careful of spending money. Otherwise, you will certainly be in trouble later. For love, there are obstacles. There will not be any success if you are flirting with someone. You have to put more effort and keep trying. The third card for you is representing, your goal, aspiration or best outcome with regards to your situation. Your card is. The Empress. There will be a slow but stable growth. The future success is waiting for you but you must try your best and never give up. Then you will be successful finally. If you are running your own business regarding beauty or agriculture, you will gain progress in your business. If you are running other kinds of business, you should find a female partner to help managing and expanding your business. Your financial status is getting more stable but you still have to be careful of trifling expenses or expenses on extravagant items. If you have a lover, you will have a pleasant relationship and plan your future together. The Empress is a deeply nurturing and caring card. If you are a mother yourself, you may be exploring your mother role even more deeply than you have before and truly appreciating the gift that has been bestowed upon you. You are blessed by maternal, protective forces or influences. For fathers, the Empress encourages you to nurture your children and open the lines of communication between you and your child. Encourage growth and development of your children, and be there to support and guide when needed. More broadly, the Empress encourages you to connect with others by nurturing, caring and supporting those around you. Find ways to support dialogue and open communication, creating a space to openly express your feelings. The universal energy is about to intervene in your life. It may be just enough to give you a glimpse of a miracle or it may be even more. You may or may not know whom or what brings such good fortune but the care and nurturing that will result come as no accident. What appears to be coincidental good luck may actually be the result of a series of good choices you have made. It is your turn to have things work out in your favor, to be blessed and to feel nurtured. Know that you are worthy of receiving this loving embrace. The fourth card for you is representing, issues from the past that have led to your current situation. Your card is. The Nine of Wands. In the past you may have not had a happy life. You may have felt stressed and frustrated that things did not turn out the way you expected. You may cling to the past and other things too much. 
for work, you may want to change your job or you do not like your job. If you are unemployed, there may be no chance to get a job at this time as you set too many conditions, or you are too choosy to get a job. For love, be careful of getting into dispute on the same old issue. It is better to try to reduce your suspicion. However, you are so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you are faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. You are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. The turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. The fifth card for you is representing your subconscious realm. The underlying feelings and trends associated with your current situation your card is the king of cups previously you may have found that your life was not exciting or there was nothing challenging there was a slow movement which made you frustrated if you were hot tempered you may feel that things are unresolved and prolonged there is delay in your work which may be caused by your lack of enthusiasm or your colleagues however you should try to alert yourself to be more active at work. If you have your own business, you may be dissatisfied with your subordinates as they are too slow at work. However, you feel very emotionally balanced and in control. You have a very deep understanding of your feelings and emotions, and are able to connect with this when necessary. As you deal with some of the scenarios that life throws at you, Draw on this deep emotional maturity to help you navigate these challenges. Also, know that this is an incredible gift you have and be open to sharing your emotional stability and calm approach with others. If you are facing challenges, then the King of Cups is an indication that you must create balance in the realm of the emotions. The King of Cups represents compassion one of the most powerful and beautiful qualities of the human spirit. The King of Cups encourages you to be considerate in your dealings with others and as you counsel others. You may need to understand why strong feelings have surfaced and how to best cope with them. It is important that you do not repress emotions but instead explore them with an open heart and an open mind. Sometimes, the King of Cups can represent an older male who may appear in your life. This card represents a man of business, law or divinity, who is kind, considerate and willing to take responsibility for his actions. He is paternalistic but in a sensitive, generous manner, and he enjoys the quiet power associated with providing loving energy to others. He is able to listen mindfully to others and he responds calmly in a crisis. He uses diplomacy rather than force, and reached out to help, 
not to stifle or have it only his way. Similarly, the King of Cups shows you generosity, graciousness, love, calmness, caring and will give you his healing ways. He has power in the business world and loves law and order. You would love him to be your doctor. If there were a crisis at hand, this is someone you would hope to have near. The sixth card for you is representing your immediate future. Your card is the Page of Swords. You have to be very careful of making promises that you know you cannot keep, or saying things that you later regret. Before making a specific promise or commitment, ensure that you can and will deliver on it in order to maintain your integrity and reputation. Also, be wary of other people's commitments to you and put in place measures to ensure that they will deliver on what they promise to deliver. This page can be a bit of a know-it-all and may be trying to impress you with big stories about his past and his achievements, which you later find out are big exaggerations of the truth. The Page of Swords may also indicate that you are beginning to annoy others by your constant questioning and challenging of ideas. While you may simply be trying to understand a situation or a concept better, there are more constructive and non-threatening ways to go about it. Use sentences such as, help me understand. Be conscious of how you may be coming across to others when you are constantly asking, why? And only challenge or question those ideas that are really important to you, rather than challenging everything that is presented. Overall, there will be obstacles in your life. Things will not be on the right track as expected and you will have to keep waiting for success. Be careful of being hot-tempered as it may cause problem at work. You will have to solve some trifling problems. You should stay calm and consider things carefully. For love, you will have a chance to meet someone whom you will not be satisfied with. If you have a lover, you should keep cool and do not use your emotions as it may cause problems. For finance, your financial status will not be good but if you spend money on your personal expense carefully, situation may get better. The seventh card for you is representing, the advice for you or what approach can be taken to address your current challenges. Your card is, the judgment. You will feel more comfortable and relaxed with the current situation. Though there may be some problems that make you worry, but you feel that you will be able to make it through. Thus, the result will not be as bad as anticipated. However, you should have a strong courage and use reason to consider things carefully or you may ask for advices from experienced persons or seniors that you respect. If you can overcome problem, you will obtain good experiences and become more matured. Overall, you have had a recent epiphany or an awakening where you have come to a realization that you need to live your life in a different way and you need to be true to yourself and your needs. You have opened yourself up to a new possibility, to lead a fulfilling life that serves your higher needs and that offers inspiration and hope to others. You feel as though you have had a calling in life, and you are getting much closer to the point where you need to take action. Something that was lying dormant within you, some unconscious knowledge or truth is finally being awakened and brought into the light. With its theme of awakening to new life, the judgment card suggests that you have reviewed and evaluated your past experiences and have learned from them. All the pieces of the puzzle of your life are finally coming together to form one, integrated picture of your life story. This integration has healed any deep wounds and you are now in a position to put the past behind you. Your memories no longer haunt you, and you are able to understand and value what has happened to you and what it has taught you about life. Now, you are ready to confront any unfinished business in your life. Clear up any misunderstandings and view the future with peace and deep knowingness in your heart. Judgment is about finding absolution. Through a period of self-evaluation, you will feel cleansed of your sins, 
wrongdoings and mistakes, and you will finally be released of your guilt and sorrow about the past. This represents a wonderful purging process and will leave you feeling refreshed and ready to take on any new challenges. The judgment card often indicates that life-changing decisions are required but unlike those associated with the logical justice card, these decisions require a delicate blend of intuition and intellect. You may be at a crossroads, aware that any decision that you make will bring about significant change. The choice can be an obvious one, or perhaps the only viable one. You know that this choice must be made and you are facing it with maturity and level-headedness. Your own judgment is impeccable at this time, you can trust it completely and know that you are on the right path. If you still require clarity on the situation, look to your past experiences and life lessons which will guide you on the right path. The eighth card for you is representing, the external influences that can be the people, energies or events which will affect the outcome of your situation and are beyond your control. Your card is, the Knight of Swords. You may feel that you are in the midst of conflicts and competitions. You need skill to control your emotions during this time. For work, be careful of getting into conflicts with people around you due to different opinions and too high confidence of each other. You may be so hot-tempered that you may make mistake and are considered careless at work. However, you should stay calm, otherwise people around you may be afraid to approach you as you always look moody. On the other hand, it is also a time when you are embarking on a new project or idea and there really is no one who is stopping you. You have had this sudden burst of energy that is propelling you forward and inspiring you to take quick action to manifest your goals. You are ready to overcome any problem, challenge or obstacle that is in your path. How could anything stand in your way if you are this focused and this committed to your goal? However, you may be prone to rushing things or cutting corners in order to get a job done. Sometimes this works for you but other times it does not. For example, using low-cost providers will help you get the job done quickly and cheaply but quality may suffer in the long term and you may consume more time fixing their work. Also, ensure that you keep others on side, particularly if they are part of your longer-term success. You might be all fired up and ready to go but if your colleagues, partner, friends, or family are not, then you are likely to run into trouble later down the track. The Knight of Swords also represents your need to understand the world from an intellectual point of view. You have well developed communication skills and can easily form solid arguments and opinions on current affairs and important matters. You love to engage with others who have similar skills so that you can share your ideas and develop new points of view. You may be best suited to discussion groups with like-minded individuals where you can fire each other up and motivate one another. The ninth card for you is representing, your hopes, wishes, dreams and fears. Your card is, the lovers. You will feel hesitate very much as you have to make decision on what to do. You are in a situation that you have to choose between something right and something you desire. However, you have to weigh good and bad result of your decision. For work, you may feel hesitate whether to go on with your present work or resign. Besides, this card means that you are worrying about love because you would like to be in a relationship or have a lover like others. On a more personal level, this card represents the establishment of a personal belief system and becoming clearer about your own values. This is a time when you are figuring out what you stand for and what your personal philosophy on life is. Having gone through the indoctrination of the Hierophant, you are now ready to establish your own belief system and make up your own mind about what is and what is not important in life. This is also a time when you need to stay true to yourself and be as authentic and genuine as possible. The lovers also represents choices on a grand scale. 
A dilemma will be presented demanding an action or decision, and you will want to decide for the best way to proceed or make the right choice. Something is going to change your plans or the course of your experience, something that may look negative on the surface but will later prove to be a blessing in disguise. When the lover's card appears in a reading, it is important to think about what decisions and choices you are facing. The fact that the lovers is a major arcana card indicates that these decisions or choices are incredibly important and significant so it is essential that you choose the right path. There may be an easy option available but you will need to ask yourself whether this is the right path for you in the long run. Oftentimes, it is the more difficult path that will bring you the greatest benefit, particularly on a deeper level. The last card for you is representing, the outcome. Your card is, the fool. Overall, there is a need to set forth on a new journey, one that is completely unknown and will take you to uncharted territories. The fool is all about new experiences, personal growth, development and adventure. The Fool card asks you to take a leap of faith and to trust in the universe in that if you begin a new journey, you will find success. This Fool lives a carefree life, free from worry and anxiety. He does not seem to mind if he does not really know what lies ahead. The Fool card may represent a choice to be made, one of vital importance. However, there are always many different options available and the choice must be made wisely. If you are facing a decision or moment of doubt, the fool encourages you to believe in yourself and follow your heart no matter how crazy or foolish your impulses may seem. This is a time when you need to truly believe and have faith in where the universe is taking you. The Fool is an excellent tarot card to meditate on if you are experiencing a lot of fear in your life. The Fool enhances courage, risk taking and the creative expression needed to open up new areas in your life. The Fool is always whole, healthy and without fear. He is the spirit of who we are, the spirit expressed and experienced as wonder, awe, curiosity and anticipation. We never know what is in the future but like the fool we must blindly go forward. You need to trust that you are a spirit born into flesh to enjoy life and grow in experience. Take a chance and see what happens. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The self-acceptance. You are a perfect child of God, and every part of you is wonderful. Your angels guide you to let go of negative self-judgments and to enjoy being you. You are much too hard on yourself, your angels say to you through this card. Although you enjoy having high standards, it's important to view yourself through loving eyes. Berating yourself only makes your spirit sink. Self-improvement comes from a positive mindset. See yourself through your angel's eyes, and you will see someone who is a perfect and holy child of God. Although you have made mistakes in the past, there is nothing that you could have ever said, thought, or done that would change God's love for you. The angels see past your surface mistakes, they see the beating heart of God's love within you. They love you unconditionally, and they ask you to love yourself in the same way. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.